Hello there. As the Tories look more and more likely to drop their leader Theresa May, the more and more it looks like Theresa May will drop her withdrawal agreement surrender treaty. But what it really comes down to is which will go first. Has there been anyone in the history of UK politics that has flogged the same dead horse for so long. It's now almost a national sport. And in doing so, Theresa May has burned through her own political capital to exhaustion and beyond, as well as that of her own party and that of the whole country on the international stage. But she may at long last have been forced to drop those proposals of hers for the UK to become a permanent EU vassal colony. For a start, the resignation last night of Andrea Leadsom, the leader of the House of Commons and therefore the person who sets the order paper, the PM was left to try and find a replacement that could pick up the withdrawal agreement political planning baton and that has delayed the publication of the EU withdrawal agreement bill and the timetable for getting it through Parliament to royal assent. Treasury Minister Mel Stride has now been named as that person. But as the House goes into Whitson recess this afternoon until Tuesday the 4th of June, nothing will now be seen until they come back. And there is speculation that the current Cabinet backlash may lead to the whole withdrawal agreement plan being dropped anyway. In fact, the rumour mill has it that Theresa May could well throw in the towel tomorrow. But as no one seems to be able to loosen her limpet-like grip on the keys to number 10, that rumour may be unfounded. So we could see her stumble on and still be in place to welcome Donald Trump to the UK next month when he brings his adult children, Donald Jr, Ivanka, Eric and Tiffany, along with their spouses to meet the Queen. And there'll be a nice Buckingham Palace banquet on June the 3rd as well. And the Foreign Secretary, Jeremy Hunt, has put pay to any welcome thought of a Theresa May resignation by saying, Theresa May will be Prime Minister to welcome him, and rightly so. But the leadership vultures are still circling. Gavin Williamson, the former Defence Secretary, who was sacked for allegedly leaking details of discussions about the possible involvement of the Chinese tech giant Huawei in the new UK 5G comm structure, has come out in support of Boris Johnson as the new Tory leader and PM. Talking to his local paper, The Express and Star, Williamson said... He's the one who can deliver change for both the Conservative Party and the country. I will be enthusiastically backing him and very much hope I can play a small role in making sure that his name is the one that the party chooses as leader. The bottom line is that the only person who can deliver Brexit and defeat Labour is Boris Johnson. The Independent says Williamson's support will be good for Boris as Williamson is seen as a fixer and usually backs the eventual winner. This might therefore encourage other Tories to also back Boris Johnson. But I personally wonder if the majority Remainer Tory MPs really would end up putting a Brexiteer into number 10, let alone a Brexiteer who could well restart the whole WTO Brexit planning process in earnest, as well as opting for that nuclear option of a no-deal Brexit in the end. Now I'm sure that as a group, even in the face of an electoral wipeout at the EU elections, they will be looking to put someone in who has ruled out a no deal, who would never spend money on no deal preparations and would happily go along with another Article 50 extension or even cave in to another referendum or even revoke the Article 50 letter. The majority of those Tory MPs do not want a Brexiteer, nor do they want a Remainer turned unsuccessful Brexiteer. No, they will want a Remainer who will rat on Brexit and call it healing the nation and the party. Finally, as it's election time again, it's also dogs at polling stations day as well. So expect to see wall-to-wall -wall coverage on the news of cute little canines waiting patiently outside polling stations for their owners to return after casting their votes. Well, the establishment press has to use something to try and justify these elections and make them look acceptable, don't they? Anyway, what do you think? 
please share and comment and thank you for watching. Please do like and share this video and also subscribe to my channel and when subscribing please do remember to press on the little bell next to the subscribe button that way you'll get an alert every single time I put up a new video. Thank you very much for watching.